Hi guys, KH Cloud here. Um, this is going to be my my second video on the um, the Red Sox simulations for 2018. Uh, this time we're kind of doing the all out, like basically if we just said, well, you know, who really cares about money and how much things cost? It, it, it'll figure itself out in the end, anyways. Um, which some people have been arguing the Red Sox to go in that direction. And it's not entirely unrealistic. I mean, I could have went after, like, literally everyone, and I tried to go for, actually, a somewhat realistic view here. I would have went after Otani, but I can't. Um, Mainly because, like, you know, even if someone created Otani, he wouldn't be able to pitch and hit. And I feel like if we're going to get him, you know, we're going to want him to pitch and hit. Seems kind of logical. So, that said, we can't get him. But, for everyone else, we got that. So, I'm just going to go over uh, real quick. Basically, you can kind of see it there. You saw you Darvish in the uh, rotation. And you can kind of see here, you can see, uh, you know, JBJ, Xander, uh, Stanton, Betts, Devers, Karen Maven, <laughs> uh, who I'm going to actually sub out for... Um, Ben Intendi in this situation. Uh, but probably move Ben Intendi down, switch him out with new Yeah, because I kind of want to... I want to have three people in a row. Like that. That's fine. Anywho. So. Uh, yeah, so we, in, in this situation, we have Mike Moustakas, we have Eduardo Nunez, uh, we have Stanton, uh, we got Cameron Maven. Uh, actually, no, I, eh, no, I'll put him in later on. I'll, I'll give uh, Ben Attendi a few swings of the bat, and then I'll put in Maven. Um, so you're kind of wondering, all right, well, how are we going to get Stanton without giving up um, Xander or JBJ? And the way that we're doing that is we're trading away uh, Hanley Ramirez and paying all of his contract, I, I don't care, uh, Drew Pomeranz and Erod. It's a lot to give up for Stanton. However, I feel like that's a better overall deal for the make of the team than giving up either JBJ or Xander. But I don't think Pomeranz is going to have the year that he had again. I, he doesn't strike me as that kind of pitcher. Um, really, honestly, neither is Porcello. A lot of people have questions behind either one of those guys, and I, I can see that. Um, I can see exactly why they have those questions. So, I give it him while he's, why you can sell him hot. Why not? Uh, Erod, Erod, I think, is going to project to be, like, a number two, number three guy, uh, on a top team. However, if you have the opportunity to get Darvish, you go ahead and get Darvish. So I, I think that's what's going to happen here. Basically, because we're getting Darvish, we can get rid of these other guys. Um, Devers, as you can see there, is playing first base because we got Mike Moustakis instead. I see the reason for that is because Moustakis is a good defensive um, third baseman. And Devers is probably better at defending first base than Eric Hosmer because Hosmer is not good. He's got like a sub-1... Uh, war at first defensively, and that's just not not cool. Um, <laughs> not somebody I want. So yeah, and also we got Jake McGee in uh, relief. Um, also, Doug Fister's gone because of, of course he's going to be gone. Uh, I don't expect us to resign him at all. Um, I guess it'd be nice because he did really well, but I don't see that happening. How did the computer make this lineup? So it decided to put Jake <laughs> <laughs> leading off. Okay. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. And he reaches for one out of the zone yeah. and misses rather badly for the first out. This actually reminds me. I need to Seven shut off now, these guys. So it was just, uh, you know, it might not be better in the long form video, but not having them talk is better for short form. 
Take a can, see if you can... Yep. Walk. Alright, here comes up Stanton for the first time as a Red Sox. Let's see how he does. Right at the second basin. Oh, ho, 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 that is gone. Well over the monster. 434 feet. Is Mustaka set for the first time as a Red Sox? Should just let that one go. No, 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 no. Stay in the park, stay in the park, stay in the park. Off the wall. Well, at least it's in the park. Got him. <laughs> They're already chanting MVP for Mookie, and it's the first game of the season. Yeah, I'm going to challenge that. <laughs> Looks kind of weird. It's the first time I've actually seen the manager. I think that was close enough. Uh, they're going to tell me. They're going to say he's safe. Ooh, double play. Got him. Strikeout. I don't even know how many of that yet. Good question. Did it say? No, not yet. Okay. We'll find out at some point. Thirteen strikeouts for good sale so far. I will take that. Is that bad? Is that JBJ? Now yep. One and two. The short Should have laid off it. Should have laid off it. That's gone. Three eighty four. Aaron Judd. Cameron Maven. Ball inside. Oh, if they throw a strike this time, I can run diverse. Yep, okay. that's what I'm doing.
No, right to the right field. Number 10, Cameron Maven. That should be high enough. Is it far enough? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Just skirts the wall. Oh, that's not enough. That wasn't far enough for hard enough to get the guy home. So now it's up to Stanton to get his first hit of the day and drive the run home. Can he do it? Nope. Holy crap. He is his 100th pitch of the game. Now the question is, what does the bullpen look like? Put him in. Got him. That's the game. Oh, that was a far closer game. Uh, Chris Sale is going to win player of the game. Sweet. That's kind of how you expect the game between... Sale and uh, and Tanaka to go down. All right, all right, all right. Let's sim until the beginning of June so then we can get back our beloved Dustin Pedroia. Okay, what? They want that guy. And they want to give me that guy. I'm going to decline this, but if this was actually offered, I, I can't see a reason why the Red Sox wouldn't take it. All right. Sorry, at 26 and 27, we are worse than in this. Just spending all of the monies, all of it, we are worse than what we were with Hosmer and Martinez so far. Let's just see how our, how our lineup's been hitting so far. So ignoring Pedroia because he hasn't been on the team yet. The Rose is hitting 250 with nine home runs. Okay. Sands are hitting 230 with 11 home runs. Not good. Betts, 318 with 11 home runs. That's good. Xander, 272 with eight home runs. That's fine. And, and 26 RBI. I should point out the RBI, sorry. Jackie Bradley Jr. is hitting 325, but only 16 RBI. I, I guess it's fine. He's hitting 325. I'll take it. Um, our RBI is split across the board, though, which is pretty good. Moustakas is hitting 240 with five home runs, 21 RBI. Uh, is hitting 285 with five home runs, 16 RBI. And Penn and Penny is hitting 208. Um... Maven's hitting 210 with two home runs and 17 RBI. I don't know why they think like Benintendi is bad. Honestly, he's probably like well, the best pure hitter on our team. But hey, there we go. Nunez is 304, three home runs and seven RBI. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna let the manager figure this stuff out. But like honestly, if it were me making these decisions, I would put Nunez in. As DH, move Devers to first and Stanton to take Benintendi's spot if this was really how they were hitting. How's their starting rotation doing? Sales got a 4.0 ERA. Ugh. Price is doing excellent. Darvish, 5.7. Yuck. I mean, no, 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 not, not yuck. Guys, don't get mad at me. Not yuck. Um... That is, is subpar, and I, I can't, I mean, I'm just looking at numbers. I can't comment because I am not a pitcher. Is that satisfying for David Price? That should be satisfying for David Price. We do go from being a losing team to a winning team once we get him back. That's good. Let's see who made the all-star team. So Price made it, and Porcello. So Porcello kind of bounced back from his from his uh, season a couple years ago. That's good. Um... Kimbrell does not make it. That would not be a good sign. Uh, 
there were Azores Day and don't make it, that would also not be a good sign. Um, wow. Hey, there we go. There's Mookie Bets. So we get three people making the All-Star game. This team is not coming out as as well as I would have hoped. I would hope this team would be dominant, but so far that doesn't seem to be the case. But now we're going to see how we're going to do at the end of the season. Wow. All right, let's see the stats for for the season. We're in last. <laughs> we have a team fielding Moustakis, Yu Darvish, Chris Sale, David Price, and Giancarlo Stanton, or Giancarlo. I've been saying it wrong the whole time, Giancarlo. And we are last in the American League East. Sort by OPS. So Stan's number one. He's got 253 average for the year, 33 home runs, and 83 RBI. That is still underperforming what we want and totally not worth the price that we paid for him. Um, however, I mean, those are numbers that he's put up in the past, and that is definitely a real risk with Stan. It's part of the reason why I'm against trading for Stan. As much as I would love to see him, because I feel like a righty with his kind of power at Fenway Park is going to just destroy things, clearly, eh, not so much. Standard at 282 with 25 home runs, 68 RBIs, 16 stolen bases. That is exactly the kind of season that I would like to see from Xander consistently. Mookie Betts, that he basically put up what he's been putting up the past couple of seasons. Pedroia, 17 home runs, 56 RBI, 286. That's good. That's kind of what we'd want out of Pedroia. That's really great out of JBJ, 287, 17 home runs, uh, 55 RBI, 9 stolen bases. The problem is, is that really, like, we got Devers here with 230, um, about 240, actually, with 27 home runs, 76 RBI. That's all impressive. However, the problem really is those averages there. If you look at the Astros guys, those guys were hitting averages around 280 to 300, all of them across the board. That is kind of the future of, of the baseball now. Musakis, 266, 18 home runs, 68 RBI, not enough. Sweetheart, 264, 16 home runs, 47 RBI. Not enough. Benintendi, 199. I mean, come on. Uh, Nunez, 279, 6 home runs, 17 RBI. That, that's fine, but what? Do you get injured halfway through the season? Like, how's he only putting up 17 RBI? Vazquez regressed. This is... Hopefully, the simulations have ended poorly. And this one, extremely poorly, considering the amount of money we put into it. This isn't even getting into the rotation. Let's look at the rotation. Sale 354, 144. It's fine. David Price 296, 112. Starvish just, just sucked, so that didn't do anything for us. Steven Wright there, 384, 136. Purcell, 312, 106. Kimbrell, cold as hell the whole season. That's not good. I mean, some of these are signs that they probably hopefully won't happen. Like Addison redating the 781. I mean, that that's hopefully not going to be his, his future, but it could be. No season rewards. Nothing. That was a bad team. $250 million team. Last in the American League. Or American League East. That would not be good. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Peace.